welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a review on a new airbrush makeup company I discovered, or they discovered me on Instagram. And I was super excited because they sent me a couple samples of their airbrush foundation. And what's unique about their foundation is that it's aloe infused. And a lot of their products are vegan, gluten-free, they just have a lot of nutrients in them. And so I was really intrigued by the company. I researched them online and I got my two samples to try out on foundation. So I'll show you how to do this look with their foundation and then I used a bunch of other products today because I'm also showing you how I did a orange glamour look, lip and eye, and I wanted to share that with you. And I have a variety of products and as usual I will list them below, I'll have them linked in the Amazon store. Um, I don't make a lot of money or any money off of it. Basically, uh, it's just to help you guys out, to keep you shining inside and out. And it's a lot of fun for me to get in front of the camera and talk and connect with everyone. So I hope you like the videos. Um, sorry it's been a minute. And I got some new equipment uh, from a selfie stick to I'm trying out a white background. Uh, I'm going to see how that works. New Instagram look, uh, a summer look. So be sure to check me out at Baroness Lovey Deluxe. That's with one S. And I'll have all the links down below as well and if you join me on my mailing list you will get a free copy of Dirty Glamour magazine. You will actually get all four copies in the interactive version to view and the interactive version is really cool because it's moving pages, floating titles and there's more to come. I'm currently working on issue five and I'm just adding in more and more so I'm super excited and I wanted to share that with you guys. It's my gift to you for watching me, for supporting my work, my photography, the hair and makeup, and just uh, these videos. So back to what we're doing today. Um, this company, Tickle Pink Airbrush, is out of Oregon, Washington. So they sent me this little brochure that explained all their products. And they actually have quite a few products. I was really excited because they have skincare. And I'm always looking for skincare that works really well with the airbrush makeup, as well as just products that work really well on my skin. Um, right now I've got some discoloration from the sun, I've got a little bit of an acne breakout, and so I'm always looking for things to cover my skin that isn't cakey or heavy. Um, that's one of the reasons why I use airbrush makeup not only every day on myself, but also in my photo shoots because I get a range of women and men, all ages, different skin textures, different ethnicities, um, different places in their life, um, and so the makeup is not only very quick to do airbrush, but great coverage. And I'm always looking for foundations that work with different skin types. So I actually look at my clients' skin types when they come in and suit the foundation, the skincare, whatever I can to make their pictures look amazing so I do less editing in the computer. Not that I don't love my editing if you've seen my fantasy pictures, but um, the kind of editing I want to do is the fun stuff. So when it comes to hair, makeup, and skin, I want it to be as perfect as possible that I can get it in front of the camera, in front of natural light and lighting. And I find when I'm shooting, that's two different things. A lot of women will come in having done their own makeup, and I totally encourage women to do that because it's a great learning process, and I give them tips on what to do if that's the route they want to go with, and I'm totally fine with that. But one big thing that I don't like is cakey, and I don't like tons of powder on the nose. And when you're shooting a natural light you cannot edit that out so for like for example my boudoir shoots I really emphasize if you're gonna tap powder do it underneath the eyes around the mouth forehead places you'll get shine or perspiration but not all over the nose you can do a light sweep but if it's too much and your foundation and your powder look chalky or cakey it shows in the camera and I can't fix that so these are just little things to help you if you want to do your own makeup either for camera or for everyday um, and also introduce you to great products that are airbrush makeup. I'm a big fan of airbrush makeup. I only use it on myself other than maybe eye and lip products because as any makeup enthusiast you just get excited when you see color and you want to play. Now with the airbrush makeup, more about Tickle Pink, um, what I loved about this site is that I went on and I looked at all their products and of course I got excited and ordered some skincare products. I ordered a light concealer, an airbrush concealer, which normally I use the MAC NW25, which is warm for my skin, but I like to play with the cool and light tones. It works for me and I'll go more into that another time and some of my other videos go into that, but um, I actually have more yellow undertones, but I use one, a concealer with pink and la la la. But anyway, I've ordered their light concealer. I don't have that yet. 
And I've also ordered their, I believe it was their face serum, which has peptides in it. Oh no, it's their eye makeup remover that has peptides. So I've ordered those three products to start. And of course I created my wish list to see what else later down the line I wanna try out. They have some great stuff. Let me tell you about it. Um, so of course they sell airbrush kits, which is great. And they have the traditional gun, which is the one I use. And mine was originally from Dynair, and I have a couple of different versions, but they have the traditional kit um, compressor where you can adjust the, the air pressure with the hose. Their kits also come with foundations, all aloe infused, which is exciting. So if you don't have an issue with aloe, then you're great, you're good to go. And the foundation is very lightweight. Um, but they do sell concealers. They have ones for different skin color correction. For example, if you have a lot of acne, you may want to use the green concealer to tone it down, to counteract, and then put your foundation on. Um, you can play with that. I personally just went with the light concealer. I actually called their number. Uh, they have a full-time esthetician on staff that answers all your questions. Now, um, she talks about skincare, makeup. She was fantastic on the phone, super informative, and she talked more than me, so I needed to just shut up and listen because I was worried I was going to miss a beat. Um, she was nothing but helpful, and they will color match. So if you're not sure what colors to get, and just maybe very new to makeup period, you can text them a picture and they have their number on their website and they will tell you what colors to go with and make recommendations and I love that. Very personal, um, very considerate and I and I didn't end up texting because I do know a lot about makeup and maybe I'm a know-it-all, but um, I definitely wanna try all their products. But, okay, back to what they have. Um, in this brochure they gave me, they, they also give a water salient, salient? Anyway, waterproof salient, and one of the reasons why is if you're in hot weather, you just do a light mist to this, and it just helps seal everything. It's kind of like the sprays that you get from MAC, the studio fixes, to hold your makeup, freshen you up. Um, it's the same idea. You don't have to use it. You can if you want. Today, I didn't use it because I'm at home, and I feel... Um, if I did try this the other day and it was super lightweight, felt like nothing, and it's not oily. So some makeup companies, the airbrush companies, will have one with Jehovah oil. I'm very careful about putting oil on my skin because um, it causes breakouts. Their oil did not cause any breakouts. This didn't cause any breakouts. So I feel like this is a good idea if you live in hot weather. If you're going to have a long all-day event like wedding makeup, this would be great. Even for a photo shoot, when I am using lights, it gets hot. Sometimes even in the boudoir with natural light, the rooms get hot because of all the sunlight coming in. So just some ideas and things to think about if you're getting ready for a photo shoot or even just gonna have an all day event, great idea. And then of course you can wear it without. So don't feel pressured to buy more than you need to or do more than you have to in terms of steps. Um, and then, of course, they have their concealers. They have a whiteout, which is great for covering tattoos, them putting your foundation on. Very clever. I haven't seen anyone do that in regards to promoting it as a concealer. And they have a light concealer, which is the one I ordered. So when I get that, I'll be doing a video and we'll be testing that out. But they have a yellow undertone, a pink undertone, green, and even a purple undertone. So really, it's all about researching and figuring out what you need for your skin type. Um, and of course, they have their full-time esthetician who's on call. You can text and you can phone and you can um, get answers if you're a newbie. Uh, they also have here um, glow, three different glows, warm glow, sun glow, and diamond. I have not tried those, but I'm definitely interested in trying the sun glow. I don't know if it'll work for my skin type, but um, I would love to try it out. Um, there's also foundation sample packs if you're not sure, and they come in light fair, a hybrid of light and medium, dark and medium. So there's really colors for every skin color. And I don't know if you've looked at a lot of foundation lines, that's a big challenge to get everything, especially those dark colors, um, and to get them well mixed. Now what one thing they promote is that you can mix your colors. So get a couple colors and mix them. And a little trick that a lot of people don't realize is that a light foundation and a dark foundation is the same thing as contouring, and contouring in the sense of using light and dark on your face. So really, with airbrush, you get to play. Get a, I got a light foundation. They let me pick my colors, which was their brand new chai color. It's very light. If I was to do my whole face, I'm too whitish. I could get away with it, but I look very goth. So maybe for the right event, it would be great. But then I also got the Frappuccino, which is kind of a medium color, verges on light, but not quite. And so I sprayed my whole face with the Frappuccino, 
And then I went and spot sprayed underneath the eye, around the mouth and nose. These are the places where I always pop a lighter shade to brighten my face and to create light and dark in the right places. So if that's too much for you, talk to their esthetician, watch some videos, I'll tell you all about it. Anyway, back to the brochure. I just wanted, really wanted to go more into this um, because I just loved so many of their products and I was excited to see um, so many variations. Now variations not in terms of like colors for eyeshadows, but more in their skincare. Um, and I'll get into that. Okay, so here we go. So once again, we're going into sample packs of cool, warm, and neutral eye colors. You've also got master contouring kits, and this has the glow. This has a bronzer. Um, so I, that's another one I'm really interested in. And I have no idea which one I would use. There's one called Stunning and one called Glamorous, and I saved those on my wish list just because um, they kept coming back to me so there's something there those colors that I want to try and the truth is the only way you know is if you try the products um, so I'll give you as much information as I can I'll use the colors that suit my skin type and I would utilize their resources online they're at Oregon they are a family-run business and they are big on natural vegan gluten-free which is I don't know if that's a popular or known of in the airbrush industry. I don't know, um, but that's one thing that intrigued me. So on to their skincare. So they've got stuff that I don't know if you've ever read the book, uh, Dr. Paracone's Wrinkle Cure. And I read it about 15 years ago, and it's all about eating for your skin type and then using products that complement your skin type. And I found a lot of the ingredients in these products are ingredients that he had referenced so I love that and I love that they're airbrush friendly so I can put them on and then if I spray airbrush it doesn't pill it doesn't crease it doesn't cake it doesn't cut and that you have to be careful of if you're new to airbrush if you're using products with too much oil or counteract the water-based formulas and these are all water-based formulas you will get a hot mess on your face so you have to be very careful and so when clients come in I totally wipe their face I've had clients say oh I have nothing on my face and the next you know all their eyeshadow is pilling and nothing is hearing and I'm like are you sure oh I used like a cleansing oil well those cleansing oils don't work well with the water foundations that I use in airbrush so I completely wipe the face give them a light moisturizer that works with the airbrush and move on with our lives. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna quickly touch on the skincare because I'm going on and on and on and I'm probably gonna drive you all nuts. Get on their website, check it out. But um, Sweet Dreams with, I believe it's pronounced Argoline and this is designed to work in the same way as Botox and I've never seen this before. Um, it's a serum you can use day or night and it's got an active ingredient in it and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce these. I'm sorry. I'm a total idiot, okay? <laughs> but um, you can get the same brochure from them and read it, I'm sure. And everything is listed on the website. It's Tickled Pink Airbrush Cosmetics, www.tickledpinkairbrush.com. So go there, read about these products. I'm going to give you the highlights. So this serum works like Botox to eliminate fine lines around the eyes, the forehead, uh, in between the brows, around the mouth. I, have, I did not order this one because I read this after I ordered online. Um, so this would be another one I put in my wish list that I would like to use on my aging clients. Clients that when you put makeup on, it just looks cakey. And this is a kind of a myth or a thing that's a problem with a lot of older clients. I worked for companies like Chanel. They were fantastic. They had age-defying makeups, moisturizing makeups. But a lot of people or women as they get older, um, they feel if they put makeup on, it doesn't help them. It doesn't work for them because it gets into the lines. So you want products like these, your skincare, which allow you to smooth out the skin, uh, hydrate it, uh, fix those little tiny imperfections like the lines and the places you don't want them, then put your foundations on. And I, like I said, recommend airbrush foundations because it's lightweight, it's quick, it um, will not make you break out, it's not cakey, it's easy to apply once you learn the procedure of the brush it's a lifesaver. So um, this product would be fantastic on my clients that are older and I do a ton of women 40 plus up to 60, 70 for boudoir, you know, and it's, and it's fantastic when you don't have to use Photoshop to smooth out their skin, but can do it right in front of them. So great product, I think, 
to use. I can't wait to try it out. I'm gonna have to buy it, but um, let's move on. So that's a highlight of that one. Anti-aging serum for all skin types, uh, even sensitive skin, non-toxic, another plus, um, and restores adequate moisture, which is the big thing. People's skin dries out as it goes older, and even if you're younger, I have extremely dry skin, and I need products to keep me hydrated so the makeup doesn't crack and look cakey. Um, then we've got Face the Day with the hell, oh, here I go again, I can't pronounce, Hydronic Acid, okay? And um, this is a skin pulping serum. Um, this I did get, so I'm waiting for this to come in. And why I got this is I felt like my skin was really dry. Um, this holds the moisture in, and that's the phrase that got me and that I was really like, okay, I need this. My skin is constantly drying out, especially around this area. And if I over moisturize, if it's an oily moisture, I break out, especially around here. And it's just a nightmare for covering up. So I wanted, um, everything starts with your skincare. So I wanted this product for myself. Um, it's called, considered a smart nutrient. It's applied topically. Um, cleanse, you tone the face, pea size amount, face and neck, and decotage, decote? I don't know. Anyway, there we go again with my pronunciation. I'm gonna work on that for you guys. Um, but improves elasticity, uh, reverses free radical damage. That is from like sun tanning, um, and it protects. It has UV that it actually helps protect, and I love that. I recently, or not recently, a while ago, I had major discoloration. I was able to get rid of it with uh, a special cream from the dermatologist, but I'm very careful because as soon as you go back in the sun and you've had that, it can come back. So I am using sunscreens, but lightweight because they make me break out or they make my skin look chalky. That's a big one. So I can do another video on that. I have a fantastic sunscreen, lightweight, that suits my skin tone, that doesn't make me look chalky under makeup. Um, let's see, what else? Nourishing to the skin, great for sensitive skin. And I have sensitive skin. So I wanted to share this with you. I thought it was fantastic. Um, it's called Face the Day with Hydraulic Acid. I'm probably saying that wrong, sorry. Anyway, um, I'm sure Tickle Pink will correct me. But um, moving on, so it's basically a day serum. So you want to clean your face, do a serum. You can do the serum before or after your moisturizer, then apply your makeup. The serum is that extra bonus, that extra step that keeps you hydrated, that allows um, your moisturizer and everything else to work together. And skincare kind of works together as a series and a set. You can't just use one product and think it's just gonna solve all your problems. It just doesn't work that way. You have, if you want great skin, you kind of have to invest in it. You don't have to break the bank. I mean, these products are priced so good. That was another thing that pulled me in. Um, I think this one is $21.95 for this little bottle. And the other one that has the uh, properties of being better than Botox or similar is only $39.95. Um, you can't really beat that for skincare. And then for me, the added bonus of using airbrush. Love it. Okay, moving on. Uh, they have a vitamin C facial serum. I don't know too much about the vitamin C serum, but it's formulated to be light and bring high concentration of vitamin C esters to the skin on a daily basis. Um, absorbs into the skin. What can I tell you? Fights uh, free radicals, aging. Um, yeah, another great moisturizer, and it's a serum, so you use it with a moisturizer. Ah, and then we're on to Ultimate Facial Serum. Um, this is to help you look younger. Ah, it is packed with active ingredients, DMAE, DAME. This is an ingredient that I mentioned, like the people in the book from The Wrinkle Cure, Dr. Pericone, had talked about. Um, he talks about this stuff, and this was 20 years ago. And I read this book, and it talked about how those ingredients are in things like salmon. And if you want your skin to look fantastic before a photo shoot or a big event, uh, three days prior, eat salmon and spinach and all this great stuff. Also, he breaks it down by ethnicity in terms of skin types and how they can cross and what will work for you, what vitamins. But he has his own line out, but they, Tickle Pink, have this ingredient in this facial serum that works well with the airbrush. So that's why I was really excited. And something, a vitamin that I've been taking for years was the alpha lipolic acid, which works to break down sugars that attach to the cells, that attach to you, that that 
cause aging. Even sugar causes aging. When you eat tons of junk food, it's not going to help you. So um, think of that. And so um, when I saw that, I was really intrigued. Um, so that's another serum. i guilty. I totally want to try. And I've been using alpha lipoic acid vitamins, which is just a vitamin to help break down aging and that whole process. And I've been doing it for years. And that was one thing for my skin type and ethnicity that was uh, suggested. So um, I'll put a link to this book. It's really great. And it, it helps complement skincare and makeup and all that because it all goes together. And what you eat as well. Whole other video. All right. Okay, and I'm still going on. I'm halfway through the book. I'm at the airbrush eyeshadows. I'm not gonna lie, I spent an hour just staring at them. And here's why. I never know what color is gonna look good on me. I have an idea, but I never know if in that brand it's gonna look good. And you're staring at a swatch on a white background, and I'm not pasty white like that. You can put a white base and then put that color and make it pop, and that is always great, especially if you want those really dramatic eyes. But I was like in love with these colors. Super soft looking, super beautiful. I had to look at all of them. I'm checked off. You can see I have little check marks of the ones that I want to eventually purchase and try out. Cosmic Glow looks really cool. It's like this purpley white, uh, yellow brown. They have a yellow red, and you know, you don't know until you try them. <laughs> so that will be happening um, little by little, building my collection of their products. And they come in shimmer or matte. I'm a big fan of matte. I do like my pops of shimmer. I like to contrast matte and shimmer and sometimes just go all matte. I feel like it's a very fresh look. I feel it's very popular for wedding makeup. But when you want that shimmer on the corner of the eye, on the center of the lid, like I did today, to just bring in light, that's super cool. So I love you can get most of these colors in either option. So, um, and their prices are good. Half an ounce is $19.95, a quarter is $12.95. That's pretty good. Um, all right, so we've got, oh, they've got masks. Um, they've got pumpkin masks. They have a Robos cream mask. Oh, they have flawless finish powder, very similar to the MAC Prep and Prime. At least that's how I read it. Um, the ingredients might be slightly different, but it is a neutral powder that you can tap underneath your eye, has no color. So even on somebody like me, who's got a tinted kind of color, um, and I can kind of blend either way, you won't see a white streak or cakiness. So it's a nice tapping powder, all purpose. So I love those, bringing them into the makeup sessions with my clients, because I can use them on any skin tone. And as I mentioned before, I'm very careful with powder, but this is a fine grain. So I tap underneath the eyes, around the mouth, wherever they might be shine, wherever I just want to flatten out just a touch. It's very subtle. Um, they've also got here stencils, which are great for the airbrush. Uh, they've got blotting papers, uh, an eyeliner brush, look. I love doing my eyeliner with a pointed tip. I'm not gonna lie, they're honest about it. They've got an eyeliner brush. That brings me to their black and charcoal brown eyeshadow eyeliner, only $11.95. They've got a sealer with a brush. I'm not sure how that works, but I would imagine it just goes over to just lock it in. Um, they've got sealer refills, brow fix, they've got brow shadows. Um, I do airbrush eyebrows and powder and you'll see me using sticks. So I tailor it to what works for the client. I look at their eyebrow and I decide what would be the best. Also, are we doing a dramatic eye? Are we doing a natural eye? And then I pick the product for that. So um, don't feel tied in like you've got to use one product. You know, like expand, try it all. <laughs> and so they're honest about that. They list that stuff. So I know I wasn't imagining it. Um, they also have lip colors. Um, those look really interesting. They've got shimmers, soft berry, lip stains, they call them. A lip brush, and then they've got a lip pumice. I'm not sure what that is. I imagine it's an exfoliator. Um, that intrigued me. They also offer glitter eyes where they use um, a glitter fix with glitter. Um, so that's something interesting. And then they do tanning kits. Um, oh, you know what? I read that they had a self-applied tanning lotion. I was intrigued by that because I tan and I use air, like the brush and the machines, but I cannot get my back in certain areas. So um, that's where I would use a self-tanner and be able to get those hard to reach areas or even touch up in between. Right now I take a spray gun spray and I use a roller where it drips too much if I'm too close because I'm spraying myself. That's a whole other video. 
Um, anyway, uh, of course, they've got your carrying bags. Uh, they have a gun holder for the airbrush, um, your attachments, super great. They have an organic tanning solution. Once again, the vegan, the organic, the gluten-free. This is great for the skin. This is very interesting. The products that I'm intrigued by and want to try out. And a lot of people have skin sensitivities. And uh, so this is good stuff. Um, oh, this is the big one that I missed that I really want to try. The Brow and Lash Rejuvenator. So I have been looking for one. And I'm just like, I just don't know who to believe as to what works. And the price range are just like all over the place. And then other people be like, just get castor oil. My skin breaks out really easy when I put heavy oils. That's why I haven't got it. I wanted something that could do brows and lashes. Um, I wear strip lashes every day, I love it, but then I'm a makeup enthusiast and there's a lot of women who don't have time for that. So um, I would love to just get my eyebrows done and my lashes done, but I don't have the budget. I, as you, I have tons of equipment that I buy to do photo shoots and that's where my money goes. Well, I'm lying, it goes to airbrush apparently. But they have a brush, brow, brow, and lash rejuvenator that I'm super interested in. And I put that on my wish list. And it's organic blend of oils and plant extracts. I love that as well. Once again, the organic. Um, so I'll cut it short, but it's $19.95. You can't go wrong with that. Um, you, you're supposed to use it for a minimum of eight weeks, which I think is fair. Um, and nutrient-rich oils, anti-inflammatory properties, uh, oil moisturizing hair. My, it contains horsetail extract, a known grow, hair growth stimulator. So all these interesting things. My worry, once again, is that it might make me break out, but I'm willing to try this for $19.95, and if it can do brows and lashes, and I just have to be patient, I think that's another good one. So um, they also offer the Fiber Lash Mascara. I don't use that because I do the lashes, but that's very interesting. There is a technique to applying that. And, it, and that's, it's all in the trick, and it can be amazing on natural lashes. So perhaps one day when I get really rich and courageous. Um, but lots of great stuff. They have a back page on tips and tricks, which is great. Um, they also have the pro tanning kits that come in hot pink. Um, I would love to try their tanning solutions because they're a big pusher of organic and all that. So I'd love to check those out one day. Um, but yeah, fun stuff. Uh, super excited to try this. Super excited to show you the video where I use their foundations. I'm using chai frappuccino. Um, they have a water sealant that I opted not to use just because I'm at home today. But um, lots of good stuff. So let's get started with the video I have talked forever. And this is a video in itself with the review on Tickled Airbrush. I want to thank you guys for sending me the samples. Super grateful and um, super excited about your products once I read about it. Um, the only thing I um, probably would would love to see, and that's probably because I'm a makeup artist and a photographer, more pictures. More pictures of all different ages of women, uh, skin colors, and the products on them. I want to see how they look. And I know how hard it is to have the makeup transfer over through the camera on video, on photography, in print, on the website. Everybody's cameras and video and phones are different, so it can be tricky, but I think lots of photos would be really great. I found myself staring at like your eyeshadows, for example, just dreaming. So perhaps me being a photographer, I could help you out. I don't know. Anyway, all I'm saying is I'm probably gonna be trying these products out and showing you, and whenever I do a video, I do a photo. So if I can help anyone out, let me know. Um, info down below. So let's get on with that video. Thanks so much for listening to me blabber. Okay, bye guys. Hi guys, welcome to my video on this uh, new airbrush or airbrush makeup, a new foundation, aloe juice infused. Um, I debated whether I was just going to do a really quick video or if I was going to talk in the video. But I decided to talk in the video just to walk you through because I use the Tickle Pink airbrush foundations, but I used different products to finish the look. And I did a orange dream kind of look where I did orange eyeshadows with a bit of brown and an orange lip. So I just want to talk about that because I feel like it's a really popular color and I had so much fun doing it. So I hope you enjoy the video. So I'm just going in and I'm combing up my eyebrows and what I'm doing is I'm going to pencil them in. The foundation's on. I've used two colors. I used chai and frappuccino, a dark and a light. And I'm going in and just adding in a highlight to carve out my eyebrows. 
Um, so I'm trying out a new background, a little bit brighter and lighter. You let me know if you like it, changing a few things. So um, let me know what you enjoy and what works best and what you can see, because sometimes I can't see these videos as clear as you do when I play them back. Um, so I'm going in I'm with MAC orange eyeshadows. I picked a medium and a dark tone. I can, I have no idea what the names were. I'm so sorry, but I'll do my best to find all the products, list them down below, and put them in my Amazon store if they're available. Um, so basically the concept is take a lighter orange, put it in the middle, take a darker one, and go around the edges and in the crease. And I also went underneath, and I'm also going to take two different browns, a warm brown for the corners, and then a darker brown. Um, on the very ends and then I finish off the look with this black airbrush makeup So I've mixed a whole bunch of products and if you know me or if you don't know me um, I love mixing products. It's just part of who I am. I like collaging. It's like life is a collage So is makeup. So I love using the best of both worlds and experimenting. I'm going in with this glitter Eyeshadow slash liner. It's called wonder swipe by Ramel. This stuff's awesome super lightweight um, beautiful colors, stays on. You can do your whole lid in glitter or just do a really opaque line. <clears throat> I've gone in and I'm putting on a natural lash and I'm going to go in and do some found or actually blush uh, with a deep mauve color from Dynair. And I am going in and just fine tuning the makeup, cleaning it up. Uh, I've gone back in with the Chai Foundation by Tickled Pink um, and I've just gone underneath the eyes and certain parts of the face to brighten it. And uh, I'm just layering and um, now using a MAC orange pencil to line my lips, fill them in, and then I'm going to use a Wet n Wild, um, this color is called Flame of the Game um, Liquid Matte. I love their liquid mattes and it's very vibrant and I worked well with the orange eye, it didn't clash. And the, the blush is kind of a deeper mauve pink and it worked. It's kind of a pinky orange. So I hope you guys like the video. Thanks so much. Share, like, and subscribe. And don't forget, guys, to uh, leave me your comments below and your suggestions and ideas. I'll tell you what I think as well as I respond to all of them. And I'm just kind of adding a little definition on the lip and bringing it out a little bit, blending in the, a burgundy lip liner with the orange um, and just defining it a little bit more. So I hope you guys like this look. I really enjoyed it. And like I said, like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate your support. And I'm working on the colors and the tones and the images so they really pop. So tell me what you think. And my last little touch here is I'm going to add in Lady Luck by Dynair to add a little highlight. It's got a gold kind of shimmer to it. And center of the eye and the highlights of the cheek, the nose, and the tip of the lip. As you know, favorite spots to highlight. And just a little pop. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This is the final look. I'm just trying to show you the lids. There you go. Thanks so much.